Far away in the outermost region of hyperspace, Entrobe and his sidekick, Kid Chaos, await the day they can escape from their intergalactic containment warp and seek revenge on Hyperman. Prospects looked grim until... Hyperman! I'll get you for this! Yeah! Entrobe's bad, man! Thank you! Chaos! I told you to go! Your bad luck! I can't! We're locked up! Besides, it's just a coincidence that these things happen because I'm around. It's like a coincidence thing. Now, that's all. Just a coincidence. Just a, just a coincidence. See? A coincidence! Hyperman, Hyperman. Entrobes escape. <gasps> Not Entrobe! Yes, Entrobe, the most dangerous thug in the universe, and unfortunately, you're the only one who has ever been able to trap him. I am? Wait, that's right, I am! All right, Chief, how did an asteroid break that warp? It was supposed to be indestructible. That wasn't an asteroid. It was a mathematical meteor accidentally created by a teenage genius on Earth. Okay, I... Uh... That's actually a little complex for me. Just watch the PDA. That's it. I cracked the ultimate unifying theory. Sorry, teen genius, but your theory cracked an intergalactic containment warp and freed the most egotistical, uncaring, spoiled, lazy blob in the universe. <laughs> Me. Now it's time to plunder. <laughs> I love natural gas. <laughs> it's such a gas. You're saying my unifying theory is wrong? Do I look like a unifying kind of guy? Probably not, huh? You blew it, kid. <laughs> Chaos! Gotta go. Chief, I'm on my way. Hold it. You don't know a thing about Earth. What? Of course I do. It's, 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 it's... It's the planet that will be destroyed if you don't trap Entrobe in another containment warp. Exactly. Anything else? Yes. If you mess this assignment up, I will have to destroy the planet Earth before Entrobe can escape. And, of course, your pension will be cut back. <gasps> my pension! That's it! Time to go, Hyper! How did he ever get on the Force? Whoa! Nothing could be weirder than that! was wrong. This is weirder. No, no, hold on! No way! I'm Hyperman, and I'm on the trail of a big green thug! He just left. <gasps> Wait, what's going on? Well, um, let me put it this way, kid. Uh, your planet's a goner. Well, time to go, Hyper. Watch out for that wall. <laughs> You better come into my lab. Listen, Hyperman, what will Entrope do down here? Oh, you know, destroy all the natural resources, make cataclysmic changes in the climate, and alter the atmosphere. That's really about it. About it? How do we stop him? Well, we have to find things Entrope likes and put them in the new intergalactic containment warp that was transported down onto your island. Oh. That must be the energy flux I picked up in the meadow. But how do we find Entrobe? With my PDA. It's been pre-tuned to Entrobe's energy spectrum. Aha! There's the PDA alarm now. What else can your PDA do? 
Well, it's got upload and download buttons that can digitize objects and transport them wherever you want. And of course, it can hypersize things. Hypersize? Oh, yeah. You can make things huge or super tiny. Hey, I just thought of something. Entrope told me he loves natural gas. We should put some in the trap. Now you're getting the idea. But we're going to have to find a lot more things that he likes. And we got to do it fast. The fate of the world is in our hands. Oh, boy. Well, time to take a nap. Hyperman, we've got to get started. Oh, right. Sorry about that. Forget the nap thing. I need a new best buddy! <gasps> no! Never! Never, boss! Hey, what's that? Instant giant hideous friend DNA! Oh, look at Daisy! I love Daisy! Hello, the little friend. Ah! I think he likes me. Go! Pillage! Rampage! Have fun, but be back by eight. You know how I worry. It looks like that mutant's headed towards the forest. We should take a closer look before it destroys the island. Emma, I think I'm picking something up. Hyperman! Not now, Emma. There's something out there. I know. I'm looking at it. Don't move. We have to determine whether or not it's... Dangerous. I'll go with dangerous. Hyperman, if we don't do something, it'll destroy the island. And you're sure that's bad? Well, of course it is. Okay, I'll I'll take care of this right now. Hyperman, I don't think that's such a good idea. I almost had him, you know. Right. Let's get back to the lab. Before Intro mutated this thing, it had predictable behaviors and defenses. Maybe we can figure out how to defeat it. Daisies! Intro loves daisies! We'll take them to the trap! Emma, I don't want to fight that thing again. Maybe we better just build our own mutant. You can't just make a mutant. It takes time to evolve. Ah, uh, how much time would that be? According to standard Darwinian theory... A couple of minutes? Before the game's over? About a million years. <gasps> a million years! Holy schmoly bully! That's a lot, isn't it? If there was just some way to speed up the evolutionary process inside the terrarium. But that would mean speeding up time. Hey, hey, hey! Speeding up time! That's easy! Sucking a peanut butter sandwich through a straw. That's tough. But time! No problem. I'll just hypertize it with my PDA. <laughs> A change in one or more bases of DNA results in a mutation. Generally, the natural rate of mutation is low, but mutation frequency can be increased by such factors as ionizing radiations and mutagenic compounds. That's cool, Hyperman! Now that the evolutionary process has been speeded up, adjust the temperature and water in the terrarium, and click the time bar to see the evolutionary changes over millions of years. Then we'll examine what happens to the animals and insects.
Where I come from, dragon vipers are tough little vipers. That's our mutant. Let's go. Look at the size of that stone frog. That's, that's bigger than mom. Let's go. A megamorph snail, Emma, the answer to our dreams. Hold my heart and give me a tutu. That's a frog eating snake, or my name's Fred. It's a coniferous climber. That thing would be great in the forest. It can like climb up the trees, jump down and surprise Entro's mutant. <laughs> a red-faced gillfish. Let's go. Personally, I prefer my snails with mango, but I think it'll do. They're very dangerous, and you have to know just how to control them. All right, frog, get going. That usually does it. That's a holler squirrel. You can tell by the way they gently and subtly call to one another. It goes something like this. Say, look down, fish! <laughs> look at the size of that stone frog! That's... that's... Alright, I got my last guy loaded up in the PDA. I'm ready to go! It's time to kick some mutant tush. All right, it's obvious he's afraid. He's not going to show up. Unless, of course, he's back there in that suspicious-looking round building that says Coliseum on it. Ladies, gentlemen, and intergalactic visitors, it's time for a no holds barred contest between Emperor's Terminator and Hyperman's Thing. Now, let's get ready to rumble! We've got to track them down before they destroy something else. We've got their mutant, 
We should put him in the trap. No, no, it can't be. This is terrible. Uh, what's it mean? It means we better find out what's going on there. Let's check for intro on the PDA.